You see that? You see that up there? That is the juice. <laughs> got to the stream here, so we're just going to take the trail a uh, good ways down the river. Yeah. No, dude! That's what today is. We're just trying to figure this stream out. Alright guys, it's been a while. Uh, it's been like over a month since I last posted a video. There's been a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes, a lot of planning for some of the projects that we're working on and some of the videos are gonna be coming out in the next few months. Two things really quick before we get into the video. First off, we've got brand new Wildfly apparel that's out now. We've got our spring collection, it's live, it's on the site for you guys to go check out. And luckily enough for you guys watching, if you use the code Misty Ridge at checkout, you'll get 10% off your entire order. And that's only for the first two weeks. So if you're looking to get something and you're watching this in the first two weeks, use the code Misty Ridge, you get 10% off. Secondly, I wanted to let you guys know that starting today, we will be posting a new video at least every other Friday. I would love to post weekly eventually, and we might even post weekly this year during certain months. But right now, two weeks is like the appropriate time that I feel I need and we need to produce these videos up to the standard that we want to produce them. So like I said earlier, we've been doing a lot of planning this past month and a lot of prepping for a lot of the videos that are going to start coming out here in the next few months. All right, enough of me rambling. You guys go check out the new apparel and I hope you enjoy the video. I don't know about you guys, but springtime is probably my favorite time of year. I feel like there's something about getting through that winter grind. It's cold, it's dark, the days are short. It's just, there's not a lot of life going on in the winter. When spring starts to show, you start going outside and it's nice out, you start hearing the birds. It's such a rewarding feeling and really just makes me want to go outside. streams that I've been kind of looking at on Google Maps I've kind of pinned some points on here and I'm kind of just using today as like a scouting day I hadn't done this in a while guys I'll be I'll be honest with you I, I hadn't fished in, in a while so one of my big goals this year fish more especially locally and to make more videos from uh, from North Carolina so I'm gonna route us to one of these spots and uh, see what see what we can get into today Yeah, that's a little, uh, a little muddy for my liking right there. All right, just checked out. First spot, I think the, the few spots I'm gonna check out in this creek are just gonna be getting a visual of the access because there is no way I'm fishing in the muddy water today. Finally found a clean piece of water, somewhat clean. There's still a little bit of tint to it, which is okay, but the other streams I was looking at were literally just mud. But I think I might stop here, fish for like 30 minutes or so. I'll probably fish pretty quick, kind of just try to cover some water. Been doing a lot of driving so far today, so I'm ready to start fishing. All right, we got Chubby, kind of a dropper, and then I'm gonna throw this little guy. He's got a pretty decent sized bead, pretty simple, and he's just like a pheasant tail. There it is. There we go. First one of the day. Nice little rainbow. Good one to start. Oh, well, not bad sign. First hole, we got a fish. So we're gonna keep on moving. Alright, just got to 
second spot. I'm gonna fish really quick. Just kind of check it out. Probably gonna leave the camera in the car. Just don't feel like lugging this thing around right now. But I'll have the GoPro there if I, if I catch any fish and hopefully this spot will be a little bit better than the last one. Holy shit, guys. Oh my gosh. Of course the camera wasn't rolling. I just caught a little dinker and then this was drifting. It was like right in front of me and this dude just sipped the chubby. Look at that. Freaking beast. I saw just sick fish for the stream. Holy crap. Look at that dude. Alright, not gonna lie, that uh I got I got my heart racing a little bit. That was pretty sick. Fishing. I'm trying to come back either tomorrow or sometime this week. If it holds off tomorrow from raining and storming, I'll come back. Otherwise, hopefully we'll come back later in the week. But I'm gonna get the waders off, pack everything up, and uh, head back to Boone. Well, this is what today is looking like. So I don't think we're gonna be going fishing, but that's okay. The weather is supposed to clear up here in the next couple days. So I'm gonna try to hit that window when we've got some nice days and there's no rain and go back and explore that spot. There's always something fun about getting up early and on any typical day I would just not be getting out of bed but there's fishing involved makes it a lot easier to get up in the morning. So there you go. Cheapest breakfast you can find out there. Does the trick. We're gonna eat some food and then we'll go pick up my buddy Benny and uh, we're gonna hit the river. I said this right up. See you bro. Benny and I just got to the stream here. We are about to cross over here and there's a trail. And so we're just gonna take the trail a uh, good ways down the river. Just waiting for the sun to come up now. It's a little crisp, a little cold, but Benny already pulled the fish out of this first hole right before we were just about to cross. So it's a good sign. A dry dropper on a tag looking for really sensitive takes should be a, the key to today. Dude, this pattern is about to go worldwide. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> all right, so we've been fishing for uh, a little while now. This water, all of it looks so good, like so pristine. And uh, we're just not fun to fish. So I'm gonna switch up. I had a chubby on. 
but I'm gonna go with some a little more low profile, little caddis here, and then drop a smaller nymph down below. But yeah, I mean that, that's what today is. We're just trying to figure this stream out. Hopefully, uh, hopefully find some success and know a little more about it by the end of the day. And he's on. Nice. Dude, that thing inhaled the truck. See guys, that's just what happens. It's the, cur the curse of the camera. It's never on when the fish are on. Right at the very bottom, he just swam out of the depths and inhaled it. Where's the juju at? Alright, you see the juju up there. It's pretty obvious. Uh, this is looking fishy. Seen a few risers, but that's the juice. You see that? You see that up there? That is the juice. Finally, a whole lot of work to get that guy. <laughs> Happy to get rid of the skunk, but man, took a minute. LDR, baby. Hey, they like that fly though. Wait. <laughs> I'll bleed that. <laughs> Alright, we just had lunch. We're back here, back on the creek. And yeah, today's just been a grind, honestly. Fishing has definitely been slow, and we've been fishing some really pristine, beautiful looking water. And I kind of feel like we've been trying it all. <laughs> Been throwing dries, we euro nymphed a little bit. It's been switching our uh, our nymphs up, and just haven't really gotten anything to, to really start working consistently. But you know, that's what that's what it's all about. You know, you check out a new stream, and sometimes they're incredible, but sometimes it uh, you know it takes a while to figure out. Finally on a decent fish. Micro trout. Juvenile, as you would call them. Put them back in the water. Little dudes. <laughs> this is what it's come to, y'all. All right guys, that is gonna do it for us here for this video. Honestly, I uh, I considered not even putting this video out or even making this video. The fishing was slower than we expected and I didn't get as much footage as I typically would for like a normal video. But I, I didn't wanna let that stop me and I also wanted to highlight the reality of exploring a new place or a new stream. A lot of times, the fishing is not always gonna be on fire like the first time you go. And sometimes that day that you go, the fishing might not be on like it usually is. That pretty much was this trip. I'm excited to go back to that location and fish again. And there's plenty more streams in our area that I haven't fished and haven't explored yet. So that's what's exciting for me. But make sure you go check out the new gear that's on the site. We've got hoodies. We've got long sleeves, we got t-shirts, mugs, 
buffs. We got a bunch of new stuff that's all available on the site. Just use the code Misty Ridge and you'll get 10% off your whole order in these first two weeks. Go check that out. That's going to do it for us and we'll see you guys in the next one. Look at that. The most action we've got all day. The best action. <laughs> <laughs>